Welcome to Crater Lake National Park in Oregon, part of the Cascade Range in the Pacific Northwest. Bit of a smoky day from wildfires, but I guess the last couple days were even worse. So at least today we can see mostly across the lake. We're here on the north rim of the lake, a little bit east of Watchman Overlook, if you know where that is. Looking over here to Wizard Island, which I'll be heading out to later today and probably will do a separate video out there um, on Crater Lake. Most people know the, the general story of Crater Lake. Um, it was a big uh, stratovolcano, a big cone-shaped mountain over 12,000 feet tall um, and then about 7,700 years ago had a big uh, cataclysmic eruption where most of the magma chamber below the volcano was emptied and that caused the volcano itself to collapse inward on that void and form a big pit which became this this uh, this caldera here uh, and then that subsequently was filled in with snow and rain over the years to form uh, the big lake we see down here. Uh, we'll get down to the lake in another video so we can see how clear the water is but there's some nice things to look at up here along the the rim, most notably, um, just some beautiful, like maybe some of the best glacial striations I've seen uh, of any place around. Um, these are some andesites that are about um, about 72,000 years old. So you can see the the gouge marks and the striations where the glaciers passed over it. Also, can see how incredibly polished this surface is um it's really remarkable so yeah this was just like a lot of the big cone-shaped mountains in the cascades like uh, rainier or shasta where there were big glaciers on mount mazama um, and those glaciers moved down off the flanks of the volcano in all directions um, and that's where these striations would have come from uh, before the big eruption um 7,700 years ago. Um, let's see what else. Also kind of strewn about the summit region are pieces of pumice, this light colored pumice that was blasted out when that eruption began as well. So you can see lots of pieces of this light frothy volcanic rock, pieces of pumice, nice and light in weight as well. Let's actually head back over here to the west there's a nice view of some other bits of the internal structure of Mount Mazama one of the nice things about this caldera eruption is it exposed all sorts of the insides of the volcano so it provides a nice cross-sectional view of just how complex and complicated this volcano's um, eruptive history, not just from the big eruption, but even before that, kind of how all that pieces is pieced together. So we'll head up this hill here and we'll take a look to the east, or excuse me, the west towards the watchman and we should get a good view of Wizard Island the cinder cone that sits in the caldera okay there's the island nice little cone shape there And if we head over here, should get a good view of a feature called the Devil's Backbone. An actual uh, feeder dike that cuts through the caldera walls. And this Feeder dike's about 50,000 years old. 
Uh, it's mostly andesite in terms of its composition. We should get a good view of it. Just up here at this point. The Watchman is the high point straight in front of us. Okay, here's a good view of it here. Um, so you hopefully can see starting down here, this rib of rock forming these jagged kind of gothic looking spires running up and down the caldera wall. That's the feeder dike. That's the devil's backbone right there um, that fed an eruption of andesite again about 50,000 years ago. Um, and then it's cutting through rocks that are presumably much older. Not sure I know uh, all the age there, but you can see some of the layering in here. It's a, it's a very complicated sequence of rocks, both lava flows of the um, andesites, dacites, compositions, occasionally pyroclastic, older pyroclastic flow deposits as well. Um, but you can see some of the internal stratigraphy here. And then later in another video, um, I've got a boat shuttle that's going to take me out to Wizard Island and we'll hike to the summit and look at that cinder cone, the youngest volcano to erupt here in the Crater Lake area and hoping for a really good panoramic view from there, uh, at least as much as the, the air quality will allow. So hopefully that was helpful though, just a little view from the, um, I guess, northwest side of Crater Lake. And we're going to head a little bit further east and probably do another video or two. So until then, we'll see you next time from Crater Lake National Park in Oregon.